Hello there. I'd like to talk to you this week about the ideal husband. Last week we thought about the ideal wife. Uh, let me just read you some verses from First uh, Peter in chapter 3. It says, Likewise, husbands, live with your wives according to knowledge, or in an understanding way, showing honour to the woman as to the weaker vessel, since you are heirs together of the grace of life, so that your prayers be not hindered. Now these verses are very instructive to husbands and as we've been going through this little series about the family we would think about some key passages in the Bible and Ephesians 5 would be a very key one in this because in Ephesians chapter 5 the the woman, the, the wife, is really taught that God has designed an order within marriage as well as society and in the church and that order is that God has given leadership to the man and he expects that to be respected and submitted to, that, that leadership should be honoured in the woman. But what about the man in the relationship within the, as a husband? Well, I have a number of things that I wrote down here about the husband and his wife. And it's very interesting that the Bible here says, husbands, dwell or live with your wives. Now that really means that a husband shouldn't always be away from home. The Bible teaches that, that you have to dwell with them. And then the other thing that really comes to my mind in this is that a husband should be thoughtful about his wife. Live with your wife according to knowledge. Uh, live with your wife according to the fact that you begin to understand how she operates, how she thinks, how she ticks. Now I know that it's a, a joke and a story and that we would often say you never could work out a woman and that might be true in a, to a large extent. But the Bible is saying here that you can live with your wife according to knowledge as you get to know her, as you get to understand her, as you get to see the way she feels at certain times in the month or the way she reacts under certain circumstances. And the responsibility is on the husband to live with his wife according to knowledge, not just to bulldozer on and do what he thinks is right then it says treat your wife as being valuable and honorable because it says you have to show honor to your wife you have to give her the place that god gives her a place of honor a place of respect treat her as valuable and in physical terms remember she might be weaker she may not you might be one of those people whose wife uh, is a strong woman but in general terms and physical terms she is the weaker so you have to take account of that in terms of family routines and activities and emotional routines and all those types of things and the last thing i want to say in this short clip is this the verse is teaching that not only do you share in the grace of life something that god has given you to inherit together but the bible is teaching that uh, the way you treat your wife will affect your spiritual life that your prayers be not hindered it says so the way you treat your wife in your marriage will have an effect on your relationship with God and that's something we forget at times. I trust that this little clip about what God says about the ideal husband might be a help and a blessing.